As a hunter, I can understand why you'd want to get the most out of your carcass. Many states do not allow whole carcasses to be imported from other states or from CWD zones within that state at this point. The reason for that is because prions are contained in the tissue. Bringing back only the edible or trophy parts is the preferred method to make sure the prions are left behind and not potentially being moved to create a new hotspot of infection. Ideally, the parts that you're not taking with you should end up in a landfill where those prions are then contained and can't infect other wild deer. There was debate among wildlife professionals whether quartering or deboning was most appropriate, but there was confusion with the term quartering and what that actually entailed. So there are certain parts like the spinal cord that have a high number of prions uh, in the tissues. So long bones like you would make for soup stock uh, could potentially contain prions as well. And that was why wildlife professionals ultimately ended up deciding that deboning carcasses was the best option if those tissues were going to be moved by the hunter. So if you are not moving your harvest from a CWD zone or from one state to another, it's perfectly legal to use bones from your harvest as stock. I would recommend if you're hunting in a CWD zone, you get your harvest tested first. The bottom line is that cooking does not reach a temperature that would technically kill prions.